God, his face looks like it was molded by some schizophrenic out of plasticine. Oh, just look at how we exploded and flew straight up the hill. Are you really afraid of creatures that crash into walls and try to pass through them to catch us? To find out what's in my room, you need to like and subscribe. Come on, I'm waiting. Well, three, two, one. <laughs> There's a puking pomni here today. Hello, everyone, friends. And today, you and I will escape from Zoe Anomaly Prison. Wow, this scary guy attacked us through the bars. Well, okay. I hope that this will not affect our passage of this game. What are Zoe Anomalies? This is the first time I've even heard of this. This guy looks like he died 10 years ago. Zoanomalies is a very creepy horror. It just appeared recently. In this game, you need to walk around the zoo with very scary creatures. I would never play this game in my life. I hope there are no screamers in this game because I'm not ready to play scary games. Look, he is waiting for us almost right next to the descent from the ventilation. This guy was really prepared to catch us. I think that we can escape from him with ease. After all, we have escaped from various prisons a huge number of times, and I think that this game will not be difficult for us. This guy truly has one of the creepiest faces of any boss in Barry's prison break. It seems to me that I have never even seen scarier creatures in Roblox. Everything here really looks extremely unroyal. I really wouldn't want to find myself in such an atmosphere. It seems to me that if I end up in this prison, I will stop smelling like candy. Trust me, darling. If you find yourself in such a prison, you will smell like anything, but definitely not candy. Jack, stop scaring our guests and better do what you do best. Namely, continue to play through this game so as not to die once. There's already quite a depressing atmosphere here and everyone feels uneasy without your stories. Oh Lord, someday you will stop being so stuffy. But unfortunately, this will definitely not happen today. But believe me, when this day happens, I will order the coolest fireworks and detonate it in your honor. Maybe you'll stop blabbering and just continue playing this game? It seems to me that your ridiculous stories are preventing you from playing this game. Wow, calm down. What's going on here? Is there a stuffy virus epidemic going on here? I really hope that this disease does not affect me. I'm even willing to wear a mask for this. It seems to me that you should wear a mask at least, so that your idiotic jokes can no longer be heard. Oh no! Pomni, they infected you! Urgently, Kane declare a quarantine in the circus and close all entrances and exits. What? Have you got some kind of virus? Oh no! Looks like I'll have to stay with you for a long time! Oh god. It seems to me that you are definitely an incorrigible idiot. By the way, look! It's some kind of tiger. As I understand it, this is also a creature from this game. Well, okay, let's escape from him as quickly as possible, otherwise he will catch us. Are you really afraid of creatures that crash into walls and try to pass through them to catch us? Guys, it seems to me that there is definitely something wrong with you. Believe me, I'm holding on with all my might so as not to offend her. They are very lucky that the audience really likes them, and I have to pretend that I am delighted with these guys so that we are not bombarded with dislikes. So, okay, I think it's time for us to change the subject. Guys, let's just take this elevator up, and now we'll start running our favorite energy drink race. We really love this test, because here, we run at great speed. I would really like for these two idiots to run with the same great speed from my circus back to their wonderful sweet world. Wait, did I say that with the microphone on? Um, I meant, yes, this speed is really very cool. I really love completing this task. And in general, I really love moving quickly. To be honest, I think I'm already starting to get used to what he says. I hope your viewers don't get mad at him for this. Otherwise, you will have to kick him out of these videos. Trust me, if we had the opportunity to kick him out of our videos, we wouldn't even have him in our first episode. But unfortunately, we can't even fart in this circus without his knowledge. This sounds pretty depressing, but it looks like you have no other choice. At least it's better than constantly trying to steal something in the sweet kingdom. My life almost entirely consists of theft, and it's really quite sad. Wow, this is a very touching story. I would feel sorry for you if I didn't care about you, but unfortunately, it is so. So I'll just hope that this story really touched our viewers at least a little. Kane, you're annoying even me a little. Can you at least for a minute switch your attention to the game instead of commenting on any statement made by our guests? Do you want me to comment now on this insanely tedious task with valves? Okay, look. Now we will climb these pipes and go to the valves that we have already turned three million times. Now we need to turn the first valve, the second, and then we will go straight to the third. 
Wow, this was your first response in this video in which you did not insult anyone and did not threaten to blow up. Finally, it happened. I hope you can continue in the same spirit further. Guys, let's better write in the comments. Who is pissing you off more now? Kane, Gamigu, or the princess? We will count the number of these comments, and in the next video, we will mute the microphone of one of these characters. It seems to me that you have taken on too much responsibility, but this sounds really interesting. I hope no one writes my name in the comments. Oh, looks like I shouldn't have said that. If this can really shut you up for at least one video, I'm ready to create a thousand accounts and leave a comment from each account with your nickname. I think I just have to do this. Don't even think about doing this. Because of this, the great YouTube itself may ban us because he will think that we are inflating our comments. So let's better make our voting fair, and our subscribers actually write the name of the character they would not like to hear in the next episode. This sounds pretty interesting. Now let's go to the cafeteria room. Look, that's a big smile from the fox cook. We need to take a bazooka and try to kill him as quickly as possible. I think this guy looks like the creepiest boss in this game. Just look at his creepy face with huge black eyes. It seems to me that this guy is ready to eat not only us, but also our soul. It seems to me that this is impossible. We're like artificial intelligence, you know? We don't have a soul. It's not that we are soulless and evil. It's just that, oh, just look at how we exploded and flew straight up the hill. I didn't even think that this was possible, but it seems to me that now I will always use this life hack. I hope that in all other modes that are made in the image of Barry's prison escape, this can be done, and there really is a blast wave created when the boss explodes. I think we already know too many life hacks in this game. Interesting. Maybe there is an opportunity to somehow fart in this wind tunnel in order to fly up faster? This would have saved us as much as two seconds to complete this game. It's time it seems to me that I absolutely don't know how to distinguish when she speaks with sarcasm and when she speaks seriously but her idea was really cool to study. It seems to me that the game developers should listen to her and perhaps add this feature to this game. Did you really say that? Okay, I hope you were just joking too. Well, now let's go through this level again with the help of our life hack. I think that we will be able to do this quite easily because we are real professionals in passing this game. Okay, now we'll go to the boss's location and see what he looks like. Wow, they changed the boss in the location. It's a giant smiling robot cat. God, his face looks like it was molded by some schizophrenic out of plasticine. But I think he doesn't look so creepy in a robot suit. It would be much scarier if he were just as gigantic but with his own body. I think if I saw this, I would have this creature in my nightmares later. Are you really that afraid of him? Okay, now I know what picture I will put on the screensaver of your PC. Of course, I'm very glad that we completed this game, but don't even think about doing that. Now let's move on to the next game. I think this guy thought he could fly and fell down. Here is a huge photo of Pomni. There's a huge copy of me here that is watching the players very creepily. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will again go through a huge obby through the amazing digital circus. At the end of this obby, we'll end up right in Pomni's mouth. Oh my god, I'm starting to like this game. Are you really starting to get annoyed by this guy yet? Okay, I won't say anything. Let's just beat this game. I think this will be very exciting. We've been through this obby before and got through it pretty quickly. Let's see how long it will take us to complete this time. There's a huge copy of me here that is watching the players very creepily. I think she really scares me a lot. I hope she won't watch us. Oh my god, she switched to us. This really scares me a lot. It seems to me that we just shouldn't look her in the eyes. And she will definitely be distracted from us by some other player. Oh my god, she really just keeps watching us. It really looks creepy. It looks like she has switched her attention to another player. It finally happened. I thought she would watch us until the very end. Guys, she's actually not as creepy as you say. Let's just concentrate on completing this map and move forward. I think we should try to complete this game as quickly as possible. Her constant positivity is really starting to stress me out a little. Maybe you should stop pretending to be fake. I do not understand what you're saying. By the way, look, here is a huge photo of Pomni. We're walking all over her mouth right now. Does this count as the end of this game? I'm afraid not. We will have to go through all these stages and get to the huge Pomni at the very top of this map. By the way, we have already passed 12 stages. We are doing it quite quickly. In fact, I thought that there would be much more difficult tests here. But so far, all these tests are very easy. Here, you just need to run forward and sometimes jump. 
It will be very funny if Jax loses at least once in this game. Oh yes, friend. And it will also be funny if Kane snaps his fingers like he did last time, remember? Stop talking to our guests like that. They don't really approve of your jokes. Don't you think so? Oh, Lord, Pomni, you say that as if I don't care about it. It seems to me that you are simply incorrigible. Okay, by the way, in the meantime, we have already passed 17 stages. We are actually moving forward quite quickly. The main thing is to never lose here so that we can complete this map faster than we did last time. Oh my god! This is the same test where we need to choose the right path! I hope Jax remembered the correct bridges. I think he definitely shouldn't have a problem with this. He eats a lot of carrots. This means that he has a very good memory. Please note for a second that I eat a lot of digital carrots. It absolutely lacks beneficial vitamins that improve my memory. How can you even say that I have a good memory if I don't remember who I was before I got to the circus? What do you mean by saying that you were someone in the pre-digital circus? Are you not really who you are now? Oh, buddy, believe me, it will take us too long to explain all these mechanics to you. Your head almost exploded when you got hit by the map. And now you want some more additional answers? If this leads to his head really exploding, then I'm ready to ask a million of these questions. We've already gone through as many as 40 stages, and that's more than half of this game. Now we'll have to guess the right path again. It's good that these walls don't cause us damage when we touch them. And another test passed by the Obby Master, that is, by me. I think you definitely need to do something about your self-esteem. I think it's a little overrated. Don't worry, it only seems to you. In fact, she's completely fine. Guys, can you tell me when we will finally get to the giant mouth of Pomni? I'm very interested to see how this happens. To be honest, even I'm already starting to regret that we invited him to record a video with us. Don't worry, we'll be there soon. We have less than half the way to go. If anything, it was Pomni's idea. If you have a desire to condemn someone for this, then I think that you can express all complaints to her. I really think that after this video, she will have to move to some less comfortable room, for example, to the nest of the Gloink Queen. We have already passed more than 50 stages and we are as close as possible to the final. I am very interested in what we will get at the very end. I already forgot what prizes await us. As far as I remember, at the very end, we will receive various boosts, with the help of which we will be able to move freely throughout this location. I think it would be great to show our guests how we prevent other players from completing the game. Interfere with other players? Sounds interesting. It turns out that you have a rebellious spirit. I love it. Um, buddy, stop saying that, because even I will soon begin to regret that we invited you to record these videos with us. By the way, I hope that no one except Kane is against my participation in these videos. By the way, I remind you that after recording all these videos, I will bring you a huge bag of sweets. Bag of candy? Of course I don't mind. You can say whatever you want. By the way, if you have a desire, I can give you a PC and you can sit down to play instead of me. Jax, I didn't think you were so corrupt, but I don't blame you in any way. It seems to me that even I would be ready to sell myself for a whole bag of candies. Guys, we are already as close to the finish line as possible. We only have a few more tests to go through before we get there. I just can't wait to get to the final location here. We're finally at the finish line! I can't believe we made it here! Oh, it turns out that we still need to climb this huge spiral staircase! Well, okay. I think it's not difficult. Now, my favorite part of this game is finally about to begin. Namely the moment when we get all the possible boosts and start interfering with all the other players. I just love it when we have this opportunity. Okay, I propose to take this magic carpet and go to the very bottom to start interfering with all the other players. It seems to me that now the fun will begin. Wow, I didn't think that such a... Um... Strange creature like you could have so much aggression? Well, let's find a player whom we will start to interfere with. Looks like it's them. Great, we finally found our first victim. Let's fly in front of him so that he can't jump over this platform. I think we'll make his task much more difficult. Here the distance between the platforms is so small that it seems to me that you can jump over them even with your eyes closed. Although this guy had a bit of trouble with it, I think we need to find some other challenge in which we can really interfere with other players. I think this assignment would be perfect. Look! This guy wants to jump to the next platform. I think we can do everything to make him fall down. This guy is pretty resilient, and he's not going to give up. He really overcomes all these challenges very skillfully, but it seems to me that we can still make it fall down. It's enough just not to stop and continue to disturb him. 
Okay, it looks like this test is also not very suitable for us to be able to significantly interfere with someone. Let's go a little further. Okay, it seems to me that here we can absolutely stop this guy and he won't go anywhere further. Let's start stopping him. I think this guy thought he could fly and fell down. Now let's move on to the next game. Today you and I will ride on a cart, and today the Goomagoo and the princess will play with us again. Buddy, it looks like you didn't quite remember my real name. But there's nothing wrong with that. I'm very excited to play with you today. And did you really decide to invite them to the second video in a row? Are you seriously? Okay, do what you want. Buddy, I don't understand why you're so upset about this. These guys are very good, and our subscribers like them. I don't want to comment on this in any way, because after our last video, I was hit with a flurry of negative comments from our subscribers. So let's just play. I'm very glad that the guys were able to slightly influence you, and you cooled down a little. I hope you won't say bad words today. Just shut the f*** up and keep watching the game, you stupid Okay, I guess this was to be expected. Well, let's see. Oh no, looks like our cart has gone slightly off the rails. I really hope that we can really get to the very top. Wait guys, are you really just watching your character ride a cart and try to get to the very top along this crazy railroad? In fact, everything is a little different. Here we can adjust our speed, make our cart faster or slower, and we also have to overcome some obstacles on our way. We can do all this thanks to two control buttons that are located on our cart. It seems to me that we will not be able to get to the very end due to the fact that our cart is half hanging over the abyss. At least it seems to me that we should slow down our speed slightly, otherwise we may fly down. Don't worry, Mrs. Um, Princess? Sorry, I forgot your name. My name is Princess Luli Lalu. Yes, exactly. So, Jax is a professional in completing these games. He has completed the entire cart ride several times already. Every time you tell someone that I play games professionally, something inevitably starts to go wrong. So it seems to me that this time I won't be able to complete this game to the end. It seems to me that the problem is not that we start telling someone something, but that you are really, really bad at playing games. Oh, buddy, just shut up. It seems to me that no one plays games worse than you. You don't even have hands. You use the keyboard with your tongue. By the way, it seems to me that it is too long for you. It seems to me that karma will not take long to arrive and you will answer for these words. Oh, what I was talking about happened. Well, my friend, it's time to start over. Oh my god! Can you just shut up and let me finish this game? It seems to me that you are talking too much unnecessary nonsense. Okay, this game looks pretty... How should I say it? Strange. Just look at this cart. She's just spinning randomly in one place. Why are there a lot of empty carts ahead? Could it be ghosts? No, someone just launched several carts at once! Are you really so stupid that you can't understand this? Buddy, I think you should stop insulting our guests. Let's just keep playing this game. I really hope that on our second try, we will be able to reach the very end of this race. The main thing is not to increase the speed of our cart so much that we fly down. It only depends on how professionally Jax can maintain the required speed in order to drive forward. I don't think you should worry about this. I play this game professionally, and I can definitely get to the very end of this race. I think this is not the most difficult task. I think nothing here depends on your professionalism. It's enough just to slow down before turns and add speed when we're driving in a straight line. It seems to me that even that chocolate guy whom we kicked out of his kingdom can cope with this. Are you talking about Fudge now? I think this guy is pretty cute. We managed to communicate with him. By the way, why did you kick him out of your kingdom? Are you seriously asking this question now? He ate half the population of my kingdom, and he didn't even spare children. He literally ate people. By the way, it's very strange that he decided to eat people because besides them, all our buildings consist of candies. Out of everything you said, I didn't hear a single negative quality of his. You're an NPC, after all. Who could even feel sorry for you? Yes, indeed. Sorry, you don't even know what it is. Well, okay, I heard you. But I hope that you are not too angry with us for inviting him to your kingdom for the second time. Oh no, don't worry, we're almost there. Wait, what? Do you want to say that this is your doing? He snuck into the main square and drank the entire chocolate fountain, after which he ate four houses and an entire candy family. Do you really think that I won't be angry with you after this? Oh, <laughs> he's just joking. We didn't see any fudge. Who is this anyway? Don't pay attention to what he's- Yes, we really invited this guy? 
But he seemed very friendly to us, and he said that he wants to improve and get a job. Buddy, can you just shut up? <laughs> Don't pay attention to this idiot. He just seems to watch too many idiotic videos on YouTube because of this. His fantasy is running wild. It seems to me that you are planning some kind of showdown here. Well, it's very good that the princess forgot that we stole a whole tank of maple syrup. By the way, my mother is very grateful to you for allowing us to keep him. Wait, you said that you took this tank from them. You even returned it to us. What's going on here? It seems to me that everyone around is trying to deceive me here. Looks like your adventure didn't turn out very well. Well, you are very lucky that I can erase the NPC's memory with this, and they will forget about what you said here. Oh, if only you knew how much I really don't care about this. But I think the guys will be glad that you can do it. Oh, this is the same turn from which we fell last time. Wait, what? We've gone off the rails again. Oh my god. It seems to me that this level is simply impossible to pass. Okay, let's figure out how we can entertain ourselves. Look! This potato guy is about to go forward. It seems to me that he just needs a little acceleration. Let's speed it up a little. I can't wait to see what we can come up with. Oh, just look! She crashed into him. But unfortunately, this guy didn't go forward. Well, I think we need to speed it up. And so on, my friend. You better get ready. Oh, just look. It looks like he definitely won't reach the final point. Guys, I hope that now you are showing me not the most interesting game in Roblox. Because at the moment, what I see is not very exciting. Maybe there is something more interesting in Roblox than this? Okay, especially for gaming aesthetes, let's move on to the next game. We always help each other and try not to call each other idiots! God, they are complete idiots! Have you guys ever played Roblox? Roblo, what? Are you f***ing serious now? How would you react if two f***ing robots came into your kitchen and started stealing your f***ing food? Hello everyone, friends, and you will never guess in your life who will be escaping with us today from Pomni Prison! Let me try to guess. Perhaps these are two unfortunate NPCs who were brought into our circus absolutely by accident? Don't be so critical, Kane. Today, Luli Lalu and Gummy Goo will play with us. Hello, everyone, friends. I am glad to greet you, dear friends. I am very glad that you decided to invite me to this exciting event. Yes. Let me also pretend that these two fuck NPCs suit me, and I'm very glad that they came to my circus. Buddy, I absolutely don't understand why you're so angry. Maybe you should be a little nicer to our guests. Are you f***ing serious now? How would you react if two f***ing robots came into your kitchen and started stealing your f***ing food? Oh, buddy, sorry if I made you angry with this. I actually didn't think this tuna sandwich belonged to anyone. This is no f***ing tuna! It's salmon, you f***ing idiot! It seems that the temperature of our meeting has become so heated that we don't even pay attention to how we are going through this game now. Well, okay, I'll just play and you swear for fun. So guys, I ask you to calm down. We shouldn't argue. Let's better explain to our guests what we are doing now. To be honest, I also see both of these guys for the first time. But right now, guys, we are playing Roblox and Escaping from Prison, which is very similar to our amazing digital circus, as you may have noticed. Oh, yes. It really is very similar to your digital circus. It seems to me that the developers of this game tried very hard to convey the whole atmosphere of your circus here. I don't think anyone asked the pink-haired, candy-headed idiot for her opinion. Buddy, I think you really should shut up. You create just a disgusting atmosphere in this video. Maybe I should go up to him and talk to him one-on-one, -on -one, man to man. It seems to me, or have your marmalade brains forgotten how I was able to blow you up with a snap of my fingers? Or do you really want to repeat this? So guys, let's not blow anyone up. We have gathered here to all play Roblox together and go through the map that was created based on our amazing digital circus. By the way, no one paid attention to the similarity between Pomni in this game and the real Pomni. Oh yeah, I definitely noticed the similarity. She is just as beautiful. But her eyes in this game are not as kind and responsive as in real life. How did they manage to stuff an idiot like you with a script about flirting with girls? Oh my god, it seems to me that this video is hopelessly spoiled. Okay, never mind, let's just keep going. We'll be what we'll be. Thank you for these kind words, my friend. By the way, now we are in a dungeon that is made exactly like the dungeon of the Glink Queen. My friend? Great. It's good that you at least had enough brains to friend zone this brainless scripted NPC. Guys, is it just me, or is he even more toxic than me? In my opinion, even I am not capable of giving out so many insults in one video. By the way, it's me. Gumagoo, do you think I'm also like myself in real life? I mean, I meant the real me. Yes, I think. Most likely. Probably. Yes, exactly. 
very similar. Oh! It looks like our sweet ass kidnapper of women's hearts is starting to have problems with his voiceover script, which is to be expected from such a stupid guest like him. My friend, I think you should stop offending us. After all, I am the princess of a whole sweet kingdom, and I can make a whole crowd of sweet people come to you to kick your ass. Wow! It looks like Kane managed to really piss off our guests. Well, in such situations, I prefer to just sit and silently watch it without interrupting. I feel as embarrassed as possible to be in this company. It's a shame that Kane is the creator of our server, and we can't kick him out of here. Although it seems to me that even if they could, he would have found a way to return here. It seems to me that after this video, no one will want to come visit us and shoot a video with us anymore. Well, maybe we can just try to distract Kane somehow and have a calm conversation. Okay, buddy. There's a new video out on your favorite YouTube channel with theories about our amazing digital circus. I think you should take a look at it. Oh, seriously? Wait! Let me check! Yes! A new hour-long video has been released with a guy watching a two-second frame for ten minutes and thinking about what it could mean. Great! I just love this! Okay, keep talking to these idiots. I went to watch it. That's great! It's good that the gangle knows how to distract this boar. Guys, please excuse me for this guy's behavior. We are really very ashamed. Oh, don't worry about that, Regatta. I am a bandit, and I very often hear such words addressed to me. And sometimes even worse. This guy is actually pretty cute. And I am very much indignant at the behavior of this foul-mouthed gentleman. I think he should wash his mouth with soap. Or rather, in his case, the whole head. This guy should be taught a lesson in good manners. Yes, we will definitely do this as soon as we can figure out how we can immobilize this guy. By the way, have you guys ever played Roblox? Roblo, what? I don't even know what a game is. They actually showed me this wonderful thing with buttons on which it turns out you can see anything. Even the way hedgehogs eat corn. Have you ever seen anything like this? I've never even seen a hedgehog. Oh yes, looks like this case is very serious. Okay, in this case, we understand everything. Luli Lalu, what are your thoughts on this matter? Oh yeah, I really, really like what's going on here. I hope that I will have as many fans on the internet as you do, and I will also be able to play a Roblox game where I will walk around my big candy kingdom. It's actually quite exciting, especially when you go into some Roblox mode where everything is recreated with precision down to the details about your place of residence and about your room. And in general, it's strange when your fans know completely what your room looks like, and even what's under your bed. Oh, don't worry! I told the creators of the Roblox map about what's under your bed. By the way, it's funny that you keep these strange things- Just shut up! It seems to me that you take on too much responsibility by doing such things. And in general, when you were silent, everything was much better. Do you guys really communicate like this all the time? If so, it seems to me that I no longer want to be a resident of your circus. No, no, what are you talking about? We are actually a very friendly and united team. We always help each other and try not to call each other- Idiots! God, they are complete idiots! How could they think that we were going to somehow resurrect Kofmo? Can you imagine? They really wasted 10 minutes of my time for me to just watch some schizophrenic talk about how the red color of the wall means something. It seems to me, or did no one really care that the boss chef in the form of me just really climbed up the texture of the pipe and tried to catch us through the wall? Okay, it doesn't matter. Actually, it was a really very funny bug. Speaking of bugs, recently one of the residents of my candy kingdom stood in the center of our main square and shouted that he has a mind, a past, and a family. I think this guy is really screwed up a lot. Oh, um, okay. I hope it was really just a funny bug. <laughs> Try not to laugh so falsely anymore because it made everything you said sound a lot like sarcasm. It wasn't sarcasm, right? Guys, have you still not kicked these idiots out of here? It seems to me that they are really superfluous here. Maybe you can do something to make them go away. Can you finally just shut up? By the way, a new video has just been released about how hedgehogs eat corn, and it lasts exactly three minutes. Maybe you'll go and watch it? Oh, seriously? I just love hedgehogs. Okay, guys, the main thing is don't switch off. I will be right back. I'll go look at this cute site. Ah, uh, I think we could definitely become friends with this guy if he weren't such a bore. Okay. I still don't understand what's happening on the screen, but it looks like we just got past some lasers and now we need to climb up those stairs. Because of this loudly screaming idiot, we really couldn't... Oh my god! What is this? This is the exit! 
The developers actually added a door with an exit here, but unfortunately, it doesn't open. Okay, let's go to the final boss. By the way, I don't even remember who will be the final boss in this location. Let's see. Oh, seriously, are we really going to shoot this boar now? I'm very glad that we can finally do this and take it out on him for all the bad words he said to us. Wow, bazooka. Really? But it's strange that it shoots food, but it still causes damage. I really wish I had one like this in real life. Just imagine how many candy caravans I could rob with her help. Whoa, no, buddy. You need to get these thoughts out of your head if you want to become a resident of our circus. No more robberies. Wait, did you really think that Kane could make him a resident of our circus? He's an NPC. I didn't think you were so stupid that you still believed this. By the way, we just finished this walkthrough, and I hope that you are very glad that Gamigu and the princess joined us. Please like and comment if you want to see them in the next videos, and we move on to the next game. Are you really unable to figure out which one of them is actually Pomni? I really find it funny that the creators of this game associate Jax with a rabbit. Not many people know the difference between a rabbit and a hare. Guys, I hope you remember that I can't stand blue clothes. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will take a quiz on our amazing digital circus in Roblox. I wonder if the game developers added characters from the new episode like Gummy Goo or Luli Lalu here. It seems to me that this is very unlikely because the episode was released recently and they hardly had time to update this game yet. By the way, guys, did you know that Gummy Goo and the princess want to make a video with us of how we play Roblox? Yes, they talked about it. But they also said that they will come to our video if this video gets 1,000 likes. So our viewers will have to try for this. Guys, I really hope you get 1,000 likes. Now pause the video and write who you liked more, Gummy Goo or Princess Luli Lalu. I really liked both of these characters. And for our subscribers, I will reveal a little secret. The princess will appear in new episodes of our cartoon. Bubble, we shouldn't have been told about this. Oh, by the way, Jax just lost. Are you really unable to figure out which one of them is actually Pomni? I think there are bugs in this game. I definitely chose the right path. By the way, here we had to choose which of them was me, and in my opinion, this game was buggy again. Looks like we can't touch the central partition between them. Okay, let's choose the correct option again. By the way, it's quite funny that the game developers associate you with a rabbit. This question is also quite obvious. We definitely need to choose the left option. At least this guy didn't take damage when he touched it. Well, now we need to choose which one is the bubble. I think the answer here is also obvious. It seems to me that even a person who has never watched our cartoon would choose the right option. Okay, and here we need to select the left option. I think this task is too simple. We need to finish it quickly and choose something more complex. I remind you that last time Jax mixed up the Kinger and Pomni. Therefore, it is possible for him that this task is not as easy as it may seem to us. Oh, Kafmo, after our last episode, I'm too sad to see him mentioned. Okay, let's just get over this and move on. I think we need to pick a harder challenge. For example, this. We need to guess from the pictures who is depicted here. Okay, I think this is a gangle. Excellent. We were able to pass this test. The next test is also no less difficult. The king is definitely accurately depicted here. Oh my god, are you serious? Kalfmo again? I'm very sad to see him. I really hoped that we could somehow save him. Look, it's the rabbit in front again. I really find it funny that the creators of this game associate Jax with a rabbit. It's just that he really looks a lot like him, and not many people know the difference between a rabbit and a hare. By the way, the correct answer here was Zubel. It's also very strange that the creators of the game associate it with a construction set. No, this is quite logical. After all, I consist of many different parts, so this is quite normal. Well, after the bubble, we have a picture with teeth. I'm definitely Kane here. Well, here's the next picture. I'm 100% sure that this is Pomni. That was pretty easy. Let's move on. The last picture shows a doll. There is only one puppet in our amazing digital circus, and it's Regatta. Great. We passed this whole quiz. Now let's move on to the next one. We definitely need to choose something more challenging. Look, there is a quiz in which we need to choose the correct picture. Let's go there. They are practically no different. It's very difficult to choose the right picture, but I think here you need to choose the left picture because it has a red glove. Okay, let's go there. Great, we were right, wow. And now we need to choose my right dress, and of course it will be the option on the right. Okay, these two pictures are practically no different. The only strange thing here is the color of the eyes. I'm sure Kane doesn't have green eyes, so let's choose the right option. 
Guys, I hope you remember that I can't stand blue clothes, so I think the answer will be obvious to you. Obviously, the right option is with a purple jacket? Excellent. And now we need to choose which ball Jax was actually holding in his hand. But this question is really difficult because Jax doesn't hold the ball in his hand every day. But I think we will choose the right option. Great. We were right again. It's Queen Gloink. Didn't expect to see her here. Okay, let's choose the right option. And we were right again. Now you need to choose the correct color of my ribbons. To be honest, I even forgot a little. But I think the correct answer is on the left. Okay, here comes a more difficult task. Here you need to choose the right bubble. The bubble never had blue eyes. His eyes were always black. Great, we got it right again. And now we need to choose the right Kaufmo. It seems to me that we should just follow the guy next because he didn't die after choosing this option. This idea seems pretty logical to me. Cool, we completed another quest again. Well, let's now choose something as heavy as possible. I think we know everything about our amazing digital circus. I think we need to choose the very last quest. By the way, look, our subscribers are running after us. I think that they should help us pass this quiz. Interesting. Will we be able to get ahead of them? Obviously, this picture shows a gangle. Look, we did it almost simultaneously. Okay, now I even have a desire to compete with them. Just look at how quickly she wrote the correct name of the answer to this question. Okay, well, let's move on. Oh, it seems to me that they are far ahead of us. Now we just need to run after them until they answer all the questions correctly. Okay, Zubal is absolutely depicted here. We're finally ahead of these guys. Now they are running after us and they do not have time to answer all the questions correctly. Well, I think for this game to be fair, we should wait a little for our subscribers. By the way guys, if you also want to get into our video, then you can simply add us as a friend. You can see our nickname in the chat now. You can send a request to be added as a friend. We accept all applications. It seems to me that Kane is depicted here and our subscribers cannot guess it. Okay, let's answer this ourselves. And now we need to understand what is shown in this picture. I think this is very similar to Kofmo, but our subscriber doesn't know who it is. So let us answer this question ourselves. Great, we get through it pretty quickly. I'm definitely sure that this picture shows me. I wonder if our subscribers recognize me or not. I think it will be easier if we are the first to answer this question. Great, oh, just look, it is me. I look pretty funny here. By the way, our subscriber answered this question quite quickly. And the last picture for today. It definitely has an accurate depiction of a Zubble on it. In general, it's quite strange that this game has such light pictures. It seems to me that he has already seen more difficult pictures in other quizzes. Well, I think then we should move on to other quizzes right now and try to answer more difficult questions about our amazing digital circus. Look, it's a siren cop running after us. Let's try to turn into this. Um, is this really Sonic? Let's see what awaits us on the next floor. Um, seriously? Hello everyone, friends. Today we will play Endless Elevator again. Have you already seen our new episode? Wait, what? What's going on here? I think we should resist this force that attracts us. Us, 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 us. Oh, I think this game has some problems with optimization and we are starting to freeze. Okay, I hope this doesn't happen again and let's go to the next floor. I wonder what awaits us there. Okay, looks like some kind of children's playground. There are slides and swings. Wow, just look. We can slide down these slides. I don't think this is what we were looking for, but it looks pretty fun. I think we can stay here for a long time. Maybe we should try using a swing or something like that? Let's go down the hill again. Why are we sitting and not going anywhere? She doesn't want to come down? Seriously? Um, looks like we broke this mechanic and now we can't use the slides. This means that there is nothing more interesting for us in this location. Let's now move on to the next floor. Okay, here's the next floor. Let's see what's here. We have already seen such floors and therefore we need to run to those eggs to get them into our inventory. Um, what? Where did they go? There are some buttons here with which we can spawn. Um, what, 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 what's going on? Why are there so many of them? Maybe we should stop, 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 stop pressing these buttons. This reminds me a lot of the situation from our new episode when we managed to clone the bandit's truck. Why do you say we? If that time you decided to stay, 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 stay in the circus and did not go with us on this adventure. Actually, you weren't with us that time either. Okay. I think there are too many glitches on this map. Let's quickly go to the next floor. It looks like some kind of house. Um, what? What it is? It seems to me that all these trailers got bugged from the last map and stayed here. 
They move quite strangely. There are too many inexplicable things happening in this game, and it seems to me that it is some kind of buggy chaos. I wonder if we can even get into this house. There's a door there. But it seems to me that nothing is working out for this guy. But the interior inside this house is quite attractive. Maybe there is another additional entrance near this house? He can't just be here without being able to get inside. Apparently this is exactly the case. Well, I suggest not staying on this floor for long and going to the next floor. Let's see what awaits us on the next floor. Um, seriously? Is it just a skeleton with a sword that killed us as soon as we got out of the elevator? Okay, I think it's worth trying to get into this elevator again. What happened to the timer? Er, 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 er. Time has started to go backwards. What's going on here anyway? I don't think we should continue to stay here. Okay, this elevator looks pretty interesting too. Let's quickly go down there and see what awaits us there. It looks like some kind of house in the middle of the forest with coins scattered around it. Wait, what? Is it just me, or is there some scary red guy running after the other players with a hammer in his hands? I think that while he is distracted by other players, we should collect as many coins as possible. I wonder what we can buy with these coins. It seems to me that as soon as we get back into the elevator, it's worth seeing what's in the store that we can buy for this currency. It would be great if we could buy here for various skins or boosts with which we could run or jump faster. I'm very interested in why this guy only runs after them, but has never come in our direction. Okay, we're done with this floor, and let's move on to the next one. It looks like on every floor. Here we will have to run around locations to collect coins and avoid enemies who want to kill us. Look! This guy has a Freddy Bear skin. Okay, so far I don't see anyone dangerous here. Let's just keep collecting these coins. This location looks pretty weird. Here everyone just runs around and collects coins. Oh, look! This is the Siren Head, and it looks like now he will run after us. It looks like he is running after one of the other players. Okay, this means that we have time to collect all the coins that are here. I really hope that if he catches us, we won't lose all the coins that we collected because we've been doing this for a really long time. By the way, we forgot to look at what we could spend all the coins we collected on. Let's find out now. We can actually buy various boosts and skins here. Let's try to turn into this. Um, is this really Sonic? Okay, he looks not what he should look like. Basically, it really looks like a free skin. I think we need to collect more coins to try to turn into someone else. But this guy really looks very goofy. This location looks like some kind of prison or something like that. I don't see any new characters here yet. Oh no, look! It's a siren cop running after us. We need to hide from him somewhere here. Seriously, did he jump after us from the second floor? It looks like this guy really runs faster than us and we need to be a little more careful. So let's constantly jump from the second floor to the first so that he has to spend more time to catch up with us. Looks like he's already caught someone. Need to escape from him. Oh no, looks like he caught us too. Okay, now we know that this guy runs faster than all the other monsters. I think we didn't choose the best skin for running fast because this Mr. Fiddles looks very pot-bellied and moves really slowly. I don't see a cop siren here yet, so let's just explore this floor and collect all the coins that are here. There is some kind of door. Let's try to go through this very door. Oh, it looks like we did it just in time because Siren Cop was running right behind us and we were able to escape from him using this door. Okay, we're back in the elevator and now let's go to the next floor. It looks like some kind of winter location. Just look at how everything looks here. It really looks like Santa Claus's house. It looks like there is some kind of monster there that shoots blue rays. Okay, let's do what is usual for us, namely, continue collecting coins. It's a pity that all the doors in this location are closed and we can't get into any house. It would be great if we could do this and find some coins in there. Well, okay. Maybe we should try changing our skin to some other one. I think we should choose the Freddy Bear skin. Maybe it will turn out to be quite scary for this monster. Oh, it looks like he hit us with his laser, but we still have some HP left. So, we have the opportunity to continue collecting coins until he catches up with us. It looks like this monster managed to kill all the other players and we were left alone on this floor! Okay, I think we can survive here because I already understand how we need to dodge these lasers. In fact, this is not as difficult as it might seem because every time this guy is preparing to shoot at us with a laser, we see the direction in which he will shoot us. Okay, looks like we were able to survive, and now let's go to the next floor. Cat and dog on a rope? Hmm, I wonder what we can do with them. I can spin them around me. It's probably very good that they are not alive. Um, seriously? 
Snoop Dogg? Hello, Hello, everyone, friends. Today we will play the amazing Digital Circus Elevator. I really hope that the floors in this game will be a little different from the floors in the elevator we played in before. There's only one way to find out. Let's go inside. There are a lot of guys here whose skins are similar to us. At least I see me and Jax here. Now we will be on the first floor. I just can't wait to find out what awaits us there. This is a huge location with guns, but what should we do with them? These guns have buttons with which we can adjust the direction of their shots. It seems to me that we need to shoot so that the shells hit these rings. Jack, so far you haven't managed to hit even once. Aim better. We must earn the most points. Guys, it's not as easy as you think. Great! I got into the biggest ring. Well, I need to get into the rest. I really hope that I can score the most points. I really hope that we will be given some kind of reward that will really be worth our efforts. Let's not think about rewards for now. We'd rather encourage Jax to hit his targets. Great, another plus six points. I think we should definitely win this competition. We need to get into the last ring. Come on, Jax. Concentrate as much as possible on this. I think you can do it. I think we had great aim. It's time to take the shot. Come on, Jax. I think it will be better this way. We shot well and earned another point. I wonder if they will give us anything for this. We have a trophy, a cat, and a dog in our inventory. Wait, what? Is this really our reward? Cat and dog on a rope? Hmm, I wonder what we can do with them. They hang out so funny. I really hope they don't poop in this elevator. Look, I can spin them around me. It's probably very good that they are not alive. Otherwise, I would be very sorry for these little animals. This, of course, looks very cruel, but it is as funny as possible. Just look at how he spins them. Here comes the next floor. This is some kind of huge white location. I see some objects in the distance. These are eggs, but it looks like we won't have time to pick them up. Well, we have something cooler than eggs. It's a dog on a rope. I think this is the best reward you could ever get in this game. Just look. We're really walking the dog through some kind of white void. Okay, we didn't get anything on this floor, but I hope that the next floor will be more successful for us. Let's get to it. It looks like some kind of huge labyrinth. Well, we have a dog that should smell the way out of here. Actually, in this location, we decided to walk the cat. Oh, just look. This is some kind of emptiness. Oh, no. We fell. But our cat is holding us. It turns out that these animals are very useful. Oh, no. We fell. Damn, are we really going to lose all our loot now? The cat is no longer in our inventory, but I hope that they won't take everything from us. Oh, no. It looks like we're starting from the very beginning. Well, let's choose my skin. It's a shame that everything we had was taken away from us. I didn't have time to enjoy these animals. Looks like we can still get through this labyrinth. I really hope that we can earn some cool reward for completing it. Let's really try to go all the way through it. Jax, I think you went to the wrong place in the first place. We already turned here and there was no right exit. Let's go back to the very beginning and try to find the right way. I'm already starting to get confused in these walls. It seems to me that we don't have enough time to go through it completely. Let's explore it before we are teleported into the elevator. Okay, we're in the elevator again. I can say that in this game, the challenges are much more interesting than in the elevators we played before. At least we still haven't seen a single repeat. Okay, we have arrived to the next floor. Let's see what awaits us here. Um, seriously? Snoop Dogg? Are you kidding me now? It's just Snoop Dogg dancing. Okay, this floor was quite short. I expected to see anything except Snoop Dogg. Well, even though the floor was so short, it was still very funny. And here is the next floor. Let's see what awaits us here. Oh, I remember this location from other games about endless elevators. Here we need to make sure that we can catch the glowing duck. Okay, I need to keep an eye on all the falling ducks. I really want to get that glowing duck. And here she is? Cool. We now have a new item in inventory. Let's check how it squeaks! Cool! It's very funny that she also sets the sounds. Great! Besides us, someone else also received a glowing duck! Now we are not alone. Maybe we can catch a second one? No, this floor is already over. This is certainly not a dog or a cat on a leash, but it still looks very funny. I hope we can find some more cool loot here. I hope the next floor will be interesting too. Look! This is a challenge from the Squid Game! Here you need to choose the right platforms that will not fall down. Cool. You need to remember the tactics from the series and not go first. But it seems to me that we don't have enough time because we haven't moved far enough yet and there are still a lot of platforms ahead. We need to wait for someone to come forward. Look, this guy guessed the platform, but he didn't have much luck with the next platform. 
Well, we have moved a little forward, but no one is in a hurry to go further. I think we need to do this first. Luckily, we didn't die and we respawned in the elevator. Now we can return to the progress where we stopped, but unfortunately our teammates are not going to move forward and they continue to stand in one place. Well, it seems to me that we are the only ones who can move forward. We always have bad luck with these platforms. We only have eight seconds left, and unfortunately, we definitely won't have time to complete this game to the end. Okay, this time we didn't succeed, but I know for sure that next time we need not to be afraid and just go forward. And here's the next floor. Let's go there. Cool! This is similar to the test with an energy drink as it was in Barry's prison break. Here we are also very much accelerated and we run forward and so far Jax is the first to run. We even overtook a girl who moves here using a flying carpet. Oh no! These are lasers! Damn, we stepped on one of them and now we have to start from the beginning. I hope that we can still complete this race. Unfortunately, this time I'll be the first to arrive. It's a shame because I really wanted to beat everyone and reach the finish line first. I hope Jaxa manages to pass this at least on the second try. The main thing is not to rush too much on the lasers and go through them as carefully as possible. Cool. He managed to pass it, but unfortunately we were not given any reward for it. Maybe because there was a bug and we weren't in the finishing location long enough. I wonder what awaits us in the next location. Let's take a look at this. Wait, what? Are Skibidi toilets fighting here? It's very similar to the Skibidi Towers defense game, but unfortunately we can't go inside and help them. One of the Skibidi toilets wants to come into our elevator, but he can't do anything. I feel really bad for this guy because I would like to save him so he can continue his adventure with us. But unfortunately, we cannot do this. Well, it was also a very funny location because I really love playing Skibidi Tower Defense. Let's see what awaits us on the next floor. I'm waiting for these doors to open and... I know this location. This is an obby in which the water level constantly rises. I remember that once we managed to pass it. I hope Jax remembers how to do it right, and this time he will also succeed. So far he's doing pretty well. These platforms are so tiny. Oh no, he fell down. This was the really hard part of this challenge. We already have half our health left, even less. I hope Jax speeds up a little and can go further. The water is coming up too fast. It seems to me that we have very little chance, but this is not a reason to give up. Come on, Jax! Continue! You will succeed! Oh my god, I can't look at it. It seems like the water is coming up very quickly. It's very hard to get through. Come on, Jax! Do not stop! Oh no! We fell down! It was a pretty hard level, but this time we couldn't cope with it. Let's move on to the next floor. Oh my god, not this! He caught us! Looks like someone got toothpaste all over this hallway. Um... Seriously? Is this really a false anglerfish jaw that is jumping along the corridor behind us? Looks like this guy failed this test. To find out what's in my room, you need to like and subscribe. Come on, I'm waiting. Well, three, two, one. <laughs> There's a puking Pomni here today. Hello, everyone, friends. Today we'll be running away from Bob the Dentist. His speech seems to me to be as unintelligible as possible. Can anyone explain to me how I can understand it without reading the subtitles? It seems to me that our character's speech is also not particularly intelligible. The main thing is that we realize that they want to remove the tooth, and we really don't want it. Looks like the dentist is starting to leave here to get his instrument. At this time, we need to escape from here. Let's do that. Use this key to open the door and get out of here. Let's see what challenges lie ahead of us. Looks like someone got toothpaste all over this hallway. The main thing is not to step on it as well as on these and false jaws. These things looked a lot like Kane's head. Okay, let's knock on that door. Maybe they will open a passage for us further. It looks like now we need to overcome this pit of water by wading through this dental floss. I think in real life this would be impossible. Spikes? Seriously? Why are there spikes in a dental clinic anyway? It seems to me that these are the most illogical attributes. In fact, it is very important to monitor the health of your teeth. Otherwise, you may be left without them. And unfortunately, it is very expensive to treat them. We passed these traps and now we are entering this corridor. It says here that we need to be careful and not get caught by the pet. Pet? Maybe this dentist has a dog. Um, seriously? Is this really a false anglerfish jaw that is jumping along the corridor behind us? It doesn't look scary at all. Rather, it looks strange. The main thing is that we found a way out of here and now let's escape through this ventilation from this strange pet. There are some huge fans here that we need to pass by. This room looks pretty creepy. I hope we can pass this test the first time. Oh no! 
I think we accidentally hit one of the fan blades. Okay, that was the first death in this game. I think there is nothing wrong with that. Let's try it on the second try. Cool, we managed to do it on the second try. Now let's walk across these platforms and head towards the stairs. It looks like this is an unusual staircase. Just look, there are some frames with lasers on it. Looks like this guy failed this test. He was too careless and it ruined him. But we know that we need to stop in front of every frame with lasers. Thanks to this, we can pass this test. The main thing is not to rush and then everything will definitely work out. Great, we passed this test. Now we need to jump over these strange black platforms. I don't understand at all why they added it to this game. Perhaps this is also some kind of dentist's tool, but since we are not dentists, we will never know what it is for. Great, now we need to go through this door and take the elevator upstairs. This elevator looks extremely unsafe. There is no fence around it. It seems to me that going up on such an elevator is extremely dangerous because you can accidentally fall down from a great height. But we successfully went up and did not fall from this elevator. Now we need to jump on these platforms to avoid falling into the lava. Stop, wait, where is lava in the dental clinic from? I think you're trying to find logic in Roblox again. Have you forgotten what game we're playing? By the way, now we'll get into some kind of trolley and ride along the rails. This is also very strange for a dental clinic, but I'm not even surprised by this anymore. Okay, I see the end of this rail track. I wonder what awaits us next. Let's get a look. It looks like there is some kind of corridor that looks like a corridor in a castle. Just look! Here on the sides, there are statues with knights with toothbrushes. Are you sure these are toothbrushes? It seems to me that these are brushes for elephant teeth. Okay, now we need... Are you serious? How did you manage to step on this platform? In fact, this test looks quite difficult due to the fact that the distance between these platforms is extremely small. There is also no need to rush here to pass this test. And now we need to get across this abyss using this bridge. Of course, I understand that there is absolutely no logic in Roblox, but why is there a dungeon for a dental clinic? I actually don't know the correct answer to this question, but I do know that this task is very similar to the task in Barry's Prison Escape, where we ran along the platforms after drinking an energy drink. This challenge looks much more difficult because there are also obstacles on the platforms themselves. But unfortunately, this test was very short and now we are heading to the next room. Looks like we need to find a way to open this gate. I think there must be buttons or something somewhere. Great! There are levers here, and it looks like there is more than one lever. We need to press all the levers in this room to open this gate. It looks like this was the last lever, and let's go to the gate. Oh my god, they go down very slowly. It looks like the developers were trying to create an epic effect, but in reality, they are just wasting our time. Okay, we're finally through this. Look, it's Bob the Dentist. It looks like he figured out which way we are trying to escape, and now he wants to stop us to remove our tooth. I won't let this guy do this. Let's quickly try to escape from him. Huge teeth appear on our way that prevent us from running. It looks like he's about to catch up with us. He is already very close to us. I'm really scared. Oh my god, not this. He caught us. Let's try this task again. Okay, I hope we can pass this test on the second try. It's a shame that this game doesn't have a running speed button, so we would definitely be able to escape from him very quickly. Yes, it would be very cool if we could press the shift button and just run forward so that he doesn't catch up with us. Oh, it looks like we beat this game. Just look, this is our giant statue. This game turned out to be quite short but it was a little difficult because it had really difficult challenges. I'm very glad that we were able to pass it. Let's now move on to the next game. Oh no, Papa Cop's huge head is running after us. There are still some coins here. I wonder what we can buy for them. There are four bolts here. Oh my God, no, not this. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will escape from the Big Head prison again. But this time it's a horror prison in which we need to look for keys and various objects. Okay, we found some kind of yellow key. Oh no, Papa Cop's huge head is running after us. Now we need to look for where we can use this yellow key. Most likely, we need to look for a door with a yellow lock. Look, and here she is. We need to quickly run into it before the cop catches up with us. Great! We found ourselves in some large room with prison cells. Let's see what we can find here. There's some kind of blue gear glowing there. Let's take her and explore this room further. It looks like some kind of screwdriver. Great! We now have another tool. I think now we need to find where we can use it. There are still some coins here. I wonder what we can buy for them. Okay, 
Looks like we found everything we can in this location. Now let's get out of here and find somewhere we can use this screwdriver. It's very scary to move along these corridors. There is always a feeling that Cop's big head will appear around the corner. Look! Some kind of light! Oh no! Looks like Dad's a cop! I need to get away from him as quickly as possible! I wonder if there are any other cops here besides him! I hope no! Otherwise it will be simply impossible to move along this corridor. Oh look! Another blue glow and this is another gear. Looks like we need to find all 15 gears to beat this game! Okay, let's be as careful as possible and look for gears in this game. It's good that there is a safe room here in which the cop will definitely not be able to reach us due to the fact that he is huge. We picked up the fourth gear out of 15. Let's look for the rest. It seems to me that the rest of the gears must be somewhere nearby. I see blue lighting and it looks like there is something on the right that we can open with a screwdriver. There are four bolts here. Oh my god. No, not this. He almost caught up with us. I was very scared. He appeared most unexpectedly. Quicker! We need to escape from him to a safe room before he catches up with us. It looks like he won't be able to catch us in this prison cell. Well, okay, let's now go back to that grill and try to open it completely. But now we know for sure that not one big head will hunt us, but at least two. Great! We picked up the red key. Now we have two of the three keys. We need to find where we can use the red key. Most likely it should be some kind of red door. It looks like this guy won't let us just get out of here. Okay, let's just wait until he goes to another part of this location so we can escape from here. He's in no hurry to leave. Looks like he really wants to catch us. Well, you just need to wait for the right moment. It looks like the right moment has come right now. This big green head is far enough away. And now we need to run out of here and get to where we can use the red key. I noticed that in the upper left corner we have three lives. It seems that if we are caught all three times, our progress will be reset, and we will have to look for all these items again. This encourages you not to get caught by these cops at all. In the three minutes we've been playing this game, we've only found five out of 15 gears. I think this will be quite difficult, but this is very interesting because such gameplay is very rare in games. This huge daddy cop head is constantly following us. Because of this, it is very difficult for us to get out of the safe area in order to continue exploring the location. We still couldn't find the red door. I hope she is somewhere nearby. Oh, I think I see the blue glow again. Great! This is another gear. It looks like we haven't been to this part of the prison yet because there are a lot of coins here. Look, there's an icon with a hammer. This means that we can find another tool with which we can break down this door. Okay, now we know that there is another tool here. Well, let's pick up all these coins and move on. I see some light on the left again. Oh no, this is another head and it's the head of a cop's mom. Okay, now we know that there will be three different big heads chasing us here. It looks like each big head is patrolling a different area. Look, meanwhile, we have already collected eight out of 15 gears. This is very cool. It looks like three different keys are needed here. Red, yellow, and blue. But unfortunately, we only have two so far. Okay. Let's try to explore the location to find the blue key. There are a lot of items to find here. There are coins, gears, and various other items. Great! We finally found the room with the red key, and here again, the test with the stairs. By the way, this was already the ninth gear. Well, let's put this ladder right under the ventilation and go upstairs. I wonder where this ventilation will lead us. This ventilation is very long. I hope that some huge head won't jump out at us from around the corner and scare us. Another long vent! It looks like we'll have to walk along it for a very long time. But no, looks like there's a descent here. Okay, we found ourselves in some room, and it looks like this is the guard's room. There's some code on the wall. Perhaps this is the code for the safe. Let's try to enter it into this combination lock. Great, we got the hammer. Now with the help of this hammer, we must break this wall and escape from here. Okay, we have all three keys, and now we need to find this hatch in which there were three locks. Looks like this cop mom wasn't bothered at all by the fact that we broke down the wall in her jail. Okay, maybe she just didn't get enough sleep and didn't notice it. Let's find this hatch now. One more gear, and we have already found 10 gears out of 15. Only five left to find. I wonder if the game will end at the moment when we find all five gears. In fact, it's quite strange that we're looking for gears in prison. Why are these gears and not some notes or something like that? Okay, I guess this is not the most important detail right now. The main thing is to return to that hatch, but unfortunately I don't remember where it is. 
It seems to me that first we need to find a door with a red lock, and the hatch will be somewhere not far from it. I'm sure of that. Great! The door's here, and that means the hatch is somewhere nearby. Okay, here he is. I think we can open it and jump down. This hatch looks extremely unsafe. I wouldn't jump down in real life. Okay. We find ourselves in a prison cell where we can open the lock with a screwdriver. But there's a huge cop sitting here. We need to run past him so that he doesn't catch up with us. It looks like we ended up in some kind of separate prison that was one level lower than the previous one. Okay, I hope that with this we can find a way out of here. All other prison cells are closed here. There is only a huge prison labyrinth. Well, I think we need to explore it all so that we can definitely get out of this prison as soon as possible. I'm very interested in where we can still find a way out. This huge cop head keeps chasing us. By the way, did you notice that he does this with a very funny sound? Yes, this sound reminds me of a dinosaur running on a treadmill. Well, it seems to me that we managed to deceive him, and now let's find the next one of these coins. I think they are leading to the exit. And it looks like we're about to end up in some kind of cafeteria. Great! Look, there are arrows on the floor that show us where to go. Most likely they are pointing us straight to the exit. Okay, let's follow where they tell us. I hope that this is not a trap and that they will actually lead us to the exit. Now we need to climb up these boxes and open the ventilation grill. Okay, it's not for nothing that we took this screwdriver with us. I think there are too many bars in this ventilation. Great! We got to another location and here is this ropeway. Let's use it to bridge this giant chasm. Cool! There really are a lot of obstacles in this game. I really like the variety of stages in this game. Now we have to go through all these thin pipes. You have to be very careful because they are really very thin. It is really very difficult to jump on them because every time you are afraid that it will break or you will accidentally slip off it. Okay! Now we're in a room with circular saws moving around. It seems to me that here you also need to be very careful and choose the right moment to go through them. This test doesn't look difficult, but I think it's better to go through it as carefully as possible because we don't want to end up at spawn again. We've been working on it for a very long time to get here. I see some strange glow from this hatch. Are we really going to get out now and escape from this prison? It looks like we really escaped from this prison. Cool! We beat this game to one of four endings. It turns out here you can beat this game in several ways. It's great. I really like this game, and if you liked it too, write about it in the comments and we will try to get to another ending.